Hello everyone, I'm Brian Croy Dragon, and welcome back to Bone Voyage. Carrying on from, um, uh, Saturday. Good job! I know a lot more tricks like that. Can you teach them to me? All in good time! Ah! Um... No. What am I supposed to do now? Um... Who's that? How are you today? I'm fine, thanks Rosie. I just came over to ask some questions. I have some questions. So you seem like you know about food. How, how do we eat? But our mounts are there, duh. Yes, but what about... Can we taste? Do we even taste anything? Can we enjoy the food? Well, if we couldn't enjoy the food, then why does Captain Murray always ask for the same dish? Just go with it, Three Cheeks, you'll be fine. So you work at the diner, everyone calls you a waitress? I cook, I clean, I waitress, I do all of it, and I love it. That's a lot of things to do. What is your favorite job out of all of them? Definitely cooking. I love cooking for all of you. It makes me so happy. Oh, that's so kind, Rosie. We enjoy eating it. I've nothing else to ask. Thank you for answering. Have a nice day, Arthur. Now, who is this? <coughs> Well, well, if it isn't the fella Captain Murray scooped out of the water. You saw that? He did, and he told everybody. It has been so long since we had a new person. I can't help it. I love meeting new people. Let me introduce myself. My name is Jazz. I'm your new favorite musician. And you already met this lovely lady, Rosé. She makes the best goulash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stop it, you charmer. And I love her spare ribs. I'll be sure to get a serving later. I'm Arthur. Nice to meet you, Jazz. Jazz is like the genre. Hello, Jazz, as in the music genre. His real name is Jacques, but he doesn't want anybody to know. Rosé, the whole point of me not wanting anybody to know requires you to stop going around telling everybody. Haha, <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you saw us talking earlier, Arthur. Jazz is upset because his trumpet is broken. And you helped me so nicely earlier as well. Would you be so kind to help Jazz too? Sure, I'll try. <clears throat> I've had it for... As long as I can remember, 
My mama gave it to me. It means the world to me. It's helped me through bad times and to woo all the ladies. Shouldn't that, shouldn't that be woo? Oh, my dear trumpet. How did this happen? It always, I always took such great care. Will I ever play again? Will I ever hear those sweet notes again? Jazz, it's okay, we'll try to fix it. Right, sorry, focus. Looks like something is stuck inside of it. What shall we do? Shake it up and down, maybe that won't help. I've already tried that. It's really stuck in there. Try hitting it against your hand a few times, it might come loose. Are you crazy? I'm not hitting my dear trumpet. Have you tried blowing it real hard? Give it everything you've got? I think so, but one more time for good measure. You never know. That sounds great, Jazz. No, it doesn't. It sounds like the captain the day after the soup went bad. I th A crab? Eek! No, I had some questions. No, what was that? Did you see what it looked like? It was red and really blurry. I wonder what kind of thing looks that blurry all the time. Rosé, it looked blurry because it was going so fast. Oh. Yeah, did, did you have anything else to ask, Arthur? Do you happen to see where it went? I think I saw whatever it was scurry out onto the deck. Maybe start there. Onto the deck? Hmm. <clears throat> that must be the crab that Steve mentioned. How did you get in here? Are you here to steal my collection? Answer me, Scully! I'm not gonna steal. I'm not here to steal. My name is Arthur. Why didn't you say so earlier? I'm Chris. Do you, by any chance, have some bottle caps for me? I don't... I'm not sure... No? Then why are you here? Do you seek my knowledge? All I need to know is why you were in Jazz's trumpet. It was you who shot out of his trumpet, wasn't it? That's an easy question. That's an easy question. I tried to destroy it. What? Why? He keeps turning his horn and I try to read and learn and expand. Uh, let's run again. He keeps turning his horn and I try to read and learn and expand my mind. It is very annoying. Okay. Never mind, I need your help, Arthur. I'm not breaking the trumpet. You have been kept in with long arms. Did you know that Gibbons have the longest arms relative to body size of any primate? You seen this cap? It has given me this knowledge. You're no Gibbon, but you'll do. But you can't even fully see me right now. How do you know whether I have arms or not? You look like the others. However, there is something different about you. 
Your hands must be somewhere. Get them so you can help me, please. And what would I do with them? Collect bottle caps. No, of course. Dear Arthur, if you help me with realizing my dream, I will help you in return. By learning some old bones new tricks. Wasn't that an incredibly captivating speech? I learned that joke from a bottle cap. Caps are important. Not all grant knowledge, some grant comedy. This one is good too. Why do young crabs want to see around the holidays? Santa Claus. <laughs> so, will you help me? Okay, seems that Chris is a little too caught up in his collection. Silence means yes. Give me some bottle caps and I will teach you. Um. Oh. I should ask about the caps. Um. Help. I'm. I'm stuck. Uh, help. What? Select. Oh my god. Help! 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 I'm stuck. Help! What the hell did I just do? No, not the credits. Help, get me out. No. Help. How do I get out of this? Oh, there we go. Let's see, the diva Barbara, now where would she be?
Lady with a big dress would have big caps. Big caps. I wonder if there's a double meaning. <coughs> Where is everybody? Some sort of glitch. What? Hmm. Okay, hold on here. Can you? Um, what? 
What? Good. Um, What? I am confused. What? Steve, can you help me out here? God. Please talk to me. Help! Where am I supposed to go? Captain? Uh, lady with a big dress. Where exactly? Chris seems to have just vanished. What the hell is that? Okay, hold on. I don't um Chris what no what the hell happened there
He's just up and vanished. Where am I supposed to find this lady in the big dress? Okay, then. Hmm. I don't I don't know where I'm supposed Uh, right here. Well, this is a bit of a pickle. I'm Brian Croydragon signing out. Stay straight.